everybody what's going on uh, so I just wanted to cover something you know uh, yesterday in Parliament Pierre Polyev he called Trudeau a wacko because of all of these uh, ridiculous policies I can't even help but smile but he just he, he called him a wacko because of all these people that are passing away from drug overdoses and whatnot and the speaker Greg Ferguson actually banned him and kicked him out now that that's only like a, it's a one day kick out Pierre Polyev will be allowed back but what happens after he gets kicked out is also very interesting. So let's have a look, and uh, then we'll talk about it a bit after. 22 British Columbians have died of drug overdoses, but he continues to allow those drugs to kill the people in our hospitals and on our public transit. When will we put an end to this wacko policy by this wacko prime minister? <laughs> That's what they're so mad about. But applauding a Nazi, that's that's parliamentary. <laughs> He's not backing down. I'm going to ask the leader of the opposition once again to just withdraw that comment. And I'll invite the honorable member. I'm going to ask the honorable leader of the opposition to please withdraw that comment and simply withdraw that comment. Good for you, Pierre. Stuck it right up his ass. And now all the liberals are so happy because they don't have to get any tough questions anymore. Or not as tough questions. They don't show what happens after that's interesting so basically what happened is most of the conservative bench except for a couple of the people um because someone had to be there to, to continue to ask questions but a majority of the conservative caucus just got up and said you know what you kicked out our leader we're going to stand behind him and we're going to leave too you wouldn't see that from the ndp who by the way jagmeet singh has been kicked out of the house of commons twice and Justin, Justin Trudeau, I can't remember the last time he was kicked out. And I, I do think that Greg Fergus is a liberal too, isn't he? Oh, that's a bit weird. A little bit of a coincidence. Now, a lot of people, I think, when they see this, especially liberals, are going to think that this is going to hurt Pierre in the, pol in the polls. It's not. Everyone knows that that's a bullshit reason to get kicked out. He called Justin Trudeau and his policies wacko. So you get kicked out for, for saying the truth now? I mean, that's just that's just absolutely ridiculous. I mean, he didn't say anything wrong. Well, he said something unparliamentary. Give me a break. Like, is this, are, are, they, are these guys in, in kindergarten? You can't say wacko? You can't call out a prime minister for being wacko? If Justin Trudeau wasn't a wacko, then fine. But he is. So Pierre Polyev just simply gets called out for telling the truth. 
by a liberal bias speaker. Now you guys let me know what you think in the comment section because I'm pretty sure this is going to actually help Pierre Polyev. The more smear campaigns, which the liberals are also doing, and the more he gets kicked out and he looks more like the white knight, more and more people are going to go, wow, look at how biased the liberals are. You know what? And with everything being so expensive and all the scandals and the corruption, I'm just either going to vote for the conservatives or I'm going to stay home because I just can't vote for the liberals anymore. That does happen. right? The enthusiasm within Justin Trudeau's uh, support group has got to be pretty low. There will be people who vote for him just because they are going to take a stand against the conservatives. But there will be people who are just kind of like, I don't like the conservatives, but I don't like the liberals. I'm not voting NDP. And any other party is just a waste. So you know what? I'm going to sit this one out. That could very well happen. And that hurts the liberals big time. And they're already down by about 20 points. So this this whole thing that they're trying to do, compare Pierre Polyev to you know Alex Jones and Donald Trump's and, oh, he, he supports this white supremacy. It's, it's, it's not going to work. You've got about a quarter of the country left who supports you at most. So... You know, again, just another big win for Pierre Polyev. The Liberals keep shooting themselves in the foot. I love to see it. I'm sure a lot of you love to see it as well. Uh, don't forget to leave your opinion in the comment section. And please, if you can, like and subscribe. Uh, I know it may not seem like it, but it really does help a channel go a long way. I do appreciate every each, uh, every single one of you. And I'll be back shortly with another.